Hi, yeah, it's Bruce here, and uh, I thought I'd uh, make a little video about my uh, <clears throat> my ideas with real estate and uh, interior design. Like, as you know, like, yeah, I have a computer company where we make uh, handmade uh, computers. Well, they're not handmade, but like, we have a manufacturing process. Yeah, there's the Windows 10 system um, made in oak. Uh, but yeah, our computer company has come all out of uh, my real estate company. So the grounding of the company is uh, uh, built on real estate fundamentals. And uh, just, the, I guess, the aesthetic that I've come to really enjoy over the last uh, 15 years of just be, like owning real estate and like having to like... Uh, uh, rebuild or refix up places is like uh, I've I've come to uh, the idea that and I, you see it in my Instagram or I'll talk about it here on YouTube is that uh, I think that this is really my theory is that like people and cu my customers like uh, whether they be in my short term rentals or in my uh, longer term uh, rentals. Uh, I've noticed that their attitude toward like uh, my spaces in general has improved. Okay, when I started to use like uh, more natural materials, whether that be like wood or wrought iron or like tile and what have you. So, um, Japanese real estate uh, business, uh, they love, for example, they love wallpaper. Because uh, I understand why they like it. They can easily come in into a, inside a room and they put up some wallpaper and it can easily be trans, uh, transformed and uh, a clean looking thing within hours. But uh, the problem with like wallpaper and what have you is, is like, especially the white, the standard that they use, it, it, is break, it gets dirty within two years and you have to do it again. And to do it like, uh, like this is a two bedroom space here, to do a uh, two bedroom space like this is going to cost you, you know, $4,000 every five or six years that you want to, if you want to redo it. Okay. Uh, I've opted to, to go with like wood paneling, wood paneling in most of my places here you see. Uh, it's actually, uh, it's cheaper to buy, okay, and it's a really easy construction job for you to do, okay. Plus you can trans, you can, like, you can transform it easily if you want. I mean, a wall like this, as soon as I'm getting going to board with it, I think I'm going to paint it blue or something like this. Anyhow, here, you'll see on my, uh, like, tables and stuff like that, like, I'll always now use a natural wood and stuff like this. Now, now, of course, I've loved to, to, uh, or I've learned, you know, I love the look and what have you, but I also think it's a really good investment when you're using natural materials because what happens if you see, like I've seen now in my 15 years in the real estate business, like the aesthetic in style in Tokyo has an up and a down. But if you use uh, like natural materials like wood and uh, irons and that, it's never going to go out. It's always going to be in. You know, I mean, you might always have to tweak things up in terms of your decoration. That's always changing, okay? But uh, I just think it's a really good investment, like when you're deciding to like uh, design your spa your space to uh, stay in uh, touch with like natural, like ancient materials. I mean ancient materials. I mean like stuff that like touches your like. Uh, the, uh, I've come to think that some of the interior design things that I love in terms of like uh, uh, the aesthetic. Uh, I find it touches my heart. Like it touches something like close to my ancestral, like, uh, like I'm from England, or not England, my family's from England and Poland, so I think that often when I'm in a room that's really beautiful and that I, I like, uh, the, it's aesthetically affecting me, it reminds me almost like what it, like when I'm listening to Celtic music. And that's basically what we try to do when it comes here to the computer company here with the toolbox, you see the toolbox I have here with me here, and like, uh, it's just trying to, to use that aesthetic that uh, that is with you know like within uh, the sort of all kinds of human heritage whether that's like a Japanese heritage you know like I've been lived now in Japan for 25 years it's going to be in an uh, or like that ancient that ancient sort of wood and steels and like I, I often think that I, I really like that's why the movies like uh, the uh, what was the movies about? Uh, uh, the uh, the Lord of the Ring movies really touched me in a lot of ways when I was watching the movie because it was really in touch with that ancient aesthetic, you know, that that Celtic.
and, you know some of these ideas with me like like they, they come from my heart but i think also like when you're redesigning a room that that I, if you can stay in touch with those natural materials i think it's a great investment because it's never going to have its up and its downs and i think it's really good like in terms of uh like uh this is the rental space i have it on airbnb and i can like i'm never going to have to like uh, redo the walls here because they're just i've done them in solid wood whereas if when i had it done in uh, uh wallpaper it just get dirty and uh this is just a weak material so anyhow i'm kind of carrying on here a little bit on but uh yeah i just want to talk a little bit about uh my ideas of aesthetic design uh when it comes to like uh, real estate investing and what have you. Okay, signing out.